General's Gentleman. Hi everybody, this is the General's Gentleman. I'm Lifer. Hell yeah. Alright. I thought I'd let him feel special by introing. Gave him the privilege. This is the General's Gentleman on COH2, by the way. So yeah. I know some of you guys hate that, but anyway, we love this game. Indeed we do, awesome. and speaking of people that love this game, Moaning Mini, he loves this game. In fact, he loves it so much he's going to build a barracks, as a true testament to his passion for COH2. Yeah, I suppose you can call it that. He's going to be playing as another march today down the bottom... On the right! On the right. I, said, I came so close Down the to bottom, as our uh, standard territory <laughs> point here, we do have Mr. Territory Point. <laughs> on the right... He's going to be playing here on Claudney Firma, the new version, hip hip hooray, and he's going to be playing off against Emperor Tomato Ketchup as our US forces. A deadly warrior. Quite, to be a, quite a tongue twister with Emperor Tomato <laughs> yeah. Ketchup. Rivals Genghis Khan. Really? A true, no, well, I don't know. True commander of men, Emperor Tomato Ketchup. <laughs> Strikes fear into the hearts of the Germans. Yeah. Moaning mini, probably moaning because he got ketchup in his eye. <laughs> The truth. The nice truth is real. And that's the lovely back, wire. Back to the game, Jits. You realise yeah. the wire is 100% pointless. Yeah. Look at my mouse. It's yeah. still heavy cover. As we worked out, you it takes about it. three yeah, lots see? of wire to actually cover the heavy it's, cover. It's broken. It's, really it's a bug hard. or something. Yeah. But hold on a second. I mean, cover is directional. So is he still getting directional cover if he stands there from the north? That's actually a good, from the north. good point. I actually don't know. Yeah, but I, I've been in situations where I have wired off the heavy cover my opponent has taken the heavy cover. I've tried to push it, and I've just lost. Yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure. Like, if you compare it to, like, that, for example. But anyway. Um, more wire down here as well. Hey, why not? Makes it harder to go in for the decaps. Forces them to run down the neg cover in the road. Which... And we have a commander choice. Huzzah! We've Yay. got paratroopers or airborne from the USF player. Tomato ketchup man. Tomato ketchup man. Not at all surprising. Yeah, but one are pretty damn fantastic, as we can see. The slightly wider gap in the hedge is not quite as obnoxious, and there's always going to be a mine there. But oh, those nice. flanking pyos can still flank. Could do a little bit of damage here. I think this is quite a play good play from uh, Moaning Mini. Oh, neck cover. Yeah, really nice play because the Grins were trading pretty well at long range, but then when the pyos came around the corner, it definitely reduced even more damage. So we'll force it away, and territory for like that munitions point can be pretty crucial. US and Wehrmacht, both two forces that really need munitions. Soviets don't really need munitions that much. Another good 2v1 oh. here, so we're just seeing, uh, well, basically, Money Money is outplaying the Emperor Tomato Ketchup Man at the moment. <laughs> he retreated the, the, the VP was like 99% yeah, captured. It happens sometimes. Yeah. Anyway, speaking of Airborne Company, it's probably the most popular thus far. Because I think the combination between having paratroopers that are just so powerful anti-infantry with the M19s that really are able to deal with any Axis infantry, both as Overcommander West and as Wehrmacht, having the ability to deploy, you know, uh, the the MGs and the AT guns depending on, on what tech you want to swap, having that extra utility is pretty important. And the Thunderbolt late game is so good against heavy tanks. Superb strike. I, I have seen the... The armor doctrine used quite frequently as well. I find that one is quite popular with a lot of people for the assault engineers and the call arms. And obviously that ridiculously massive artillery. 240mm. Yeah. yeah. Which is probably a little bit better suited against the uh, Oberkommando. Yeah, against their trucks and whatnot here. So the battle for the cutoff continues. Has got a cutoff. A morning mini will take it back. So pretty good territory thus far. Coming out of Emperor Tomato Ketchup. With a pretty fast MG as well. We were discussing in our previous cast, depending on the order which we post them in, Grenadiers is less as important in the American matchup as they are against Soviets. So it's kind of more about having the support weapons, the MGs, the mortars. Really do come Sort of like Co-1. Yeah, definitely yeah. is nice. And, and three grins into the MG42 is pretty fantastic. Rear echelon... Watch out Pretty for their far flank. forward. <laughs> Watch out for the rear echelon flank. They might kill our model. May maybe. Jeremy should have made no guarantee to <laughs> actually kill a model. <laughs> Disclaimer. Don't quote us on that one. Disclaimers are real. Yeah, other than that, yeah. though, I mean, that's a really nice church. That MG has lockdown of a very good section of the map. Volley fire as well. Tomato Ketchup really wants to hold the cutoff here. We'll go in the garrison. He's going to have to retreat through the Grenadiers and the MG as well. Even the second Grenadier squad as well. So he may even lose the restaurant squad if he sticks around just a little bit too long. Is that a rifle nade? 
Yeah. There's a rifle name that went in. Are they still volleying? Yeah. Are they still volleying? Can they volley out of garrison? Yeah, they, they can. can. They can, yeah. But, but does going... it stop when you move? Like, he yeah. like, initiated the volley fight. Okay, so you've got no, the you timer. Can't, can't. So the reason why I wasn't doing anything was because of heavy cover. You can't really... Yeah, he's going to lose that squad, I think. You can't really... um or suppress behind heavy cover. It has to be close as well. Grenadier's looking for the cutoff, and yeah, we'll yeah, get yeah. that one. Hopefully the wipe it. Yeah, we go easy mode. So, a bit of a questionable play by Ketchup Man going for that much of a deep decap. It wasn't even the cutoff either. Like, sometimes going for that cutoff can pay off, but with that one there, it's just I a single strap I suspect he point. was just trying to distract his opponent, and maybe, look, you can see he's sweeping in from the south. Got the church now. I'm not sure why he pulled the MG out of there, yeah, but... I agree. And on the negative cover, this could be a lost unit. Doing some pretty wow. good damage. That's a Lieutenant as well, so we'll have a bar and a Thompson shredding the MG down. Gone. I think that's a Thompson firing out the window. Like, what do, you, what, what do you think it would, it would prioritize out of the window? Would it change Ooh. depending on what range? I think it would be the, LN, the, the bar probably because be of, yeah. of the distance oh, to the okay. But cool. who knows? I'm not entirely sure. There. You could, we could probably review that. Yeah, we do have Tomano Ketchup Man looking get to it. get the MG. Get he will find it, but Rifle again, nade here nade. Coming in. Ned cover is pretty brutal. Gets the wipe. Not on the wipe just yet, but that's going to be the rifle and taking it down afterwards. So the MG, bit of a uh, bit of a death trap here. Not really sure if anyone wants to take that one. Might stand there the entire game. Morale. Seems to happen a bit when I cast with you guys on this map. Last time was the Maxim, I believe. Ah, <laughs> I remember the, the Maxim, yeah. Trained over it four times. We decided it had a voodoo curse on it. And we have a, a doctrine choice from the Vermac player, which is the Mechanized Assault Doctrine, which is very popular. He's obviously skipped the Assault Grenadiers, possibly in favor of getting out the Panzer Grenadiers in the track, or maybe just waiting for the ever-popular yeah. Tiger. I think Assault Grenadiers are not very popular at all. They just seem very lackluster. Their damage is only good at close, and often they just get taken too low before they get close, and they're not exactly very tough either, so they have a niche, and I think Pigarens fit the niche just a little bit better. Rifleman yeah, though, low health squad. yeah, sticking around for quite some time. Well, we might wipe that as well, too. Grenadier squad's moving in, running away. They should be able to get out of this one. Grenadiers were moving at the time. Yeah. yeah, staying still would have given him more accuracy. Gets one of them though. And there is the M15 anti a half track. Very, very powerful despite the recent small nerf. Still very powerful. Pathfinder is nice not going to be very, very durable. Grenadiers may even wipe them, but the M15 should move in and get the suppression. Not quite in time though. He okay, blocks no off his own oh, Pathfinder. Oh no. He, if he loses that, he's going to be feeling pretty bad. Right oh, going in as well. It. And the force. Wow. wow, that did really decent damage to it. Actually surprising and a pretty good move. If he lands that second Panzerfaust, he may be able to take it out, but it is hard to land because the M15 will actually suppress. Scumbag M15 there. Killing his own Pathfinder squad there. It does get the suppression and retreat onto the Grenadiers. Allows his rifleman to move in. Really oh, is it, these it, support weapons oh, on the road are not a good idea. Yeah, this is about the second game we've seen it in. Support weapons all over the place. Need to run away from this one, but allows the rifleman to get in close. And I think that's oh, the, the plan for catch-up. Suicide, the infantry in favour of moving in his better rifleman. He doesn't need those Pathfinders or yeah. rear echelon. Well, the MG was recaptured by Tomato Ketchup. Nate going in as well. May even wipe the Grenadier squad. Rifleman having some pretty fantastic DPS left in as well. And the MG. This is a really good foothold here. For yeah, very strong up. point on the cutoff with the MG. Captured MG42. Yeah. Made a real nightmare here. He, he's lucky he kept that mortar because he needs that now to break this. And I think in this situation, you, you're better off just going north. I would just abandon the hope of trying to push through here. Unless the mortar gets some like nice damage and wipes. But especially with this many low grenadiers, he really needs to get that um, medic station on his bunker. But using that many rifle grenades and That the is pulse, a very low health rifle squad. They could be in trouble here with eight guys opening up on them like that. Wow, look at the damage here. Mortar as well. Doing some pretty good damage to Rafa and we'll get away from that one barely. But yeah, using that many abilities has lowered his income and with only six munitions, it's going to take him quite a while to actually get up the that squad 60. should not partake in any combat that <laughs> behind the heavy cover yeah. there. Maybe throw a Rafa grenade every now and again. Stay there for life. Can use the med packs, but it is pretty expensive. Generally not worth it. Wrong direction to want to catch up. I'm not really sure what he's doing over there. Maybe trying to protect against the pioneers up top. M15 is <sighs> rifle nade goes putting in. his licks in. So yeah. many rifle nades. I guess that is that's the, the surrender that you get. Set up. He oh, wipes that two. Bren squad. Is the yeah. pack in the right spot? I don't think it's in the firing arc yet. It's close. Uh, it's blocked. Yeah. yeah, in the trees. Yeah. The M15s are actually very weak. They will die in two pack shots, so it can be pretty deadly. Or a pack shot and a false and a handful of rifle shells, so they are very fragile, but the damage output and the suppression makes the M15 just such a powerful asset for the US forces. 
Yeah, that MG42 is still set up in the wrong orientation. Yeah, that's totally a shame. There. What so, I was going to say is that you, you really are sacrificing a lot of, of early, kind of mid to late game power by sacrificing all your munitions just to win engagements. I mean, if you use all these rifle nades just to, to beat the, the rifleman, even if you're not getting wipes, it means you're going to have less LMGs, you're going to have less kind of late game artillery call-ins and so, stuff like that. So it really is baiting out a lot of the munitions use here from... Yeah, but you want to see it turn into field control. If you're going to use yeah, that kind exactly. of munitions heavy use... Yeah, items. but getting the cutoff back may well pay off, but we have two pretty extremes here. Tomato Ketchup floating 375 <laughs> munitions, Mooning Mini having 35. And it's surprising because with Airborne as a possibility, it's a really good way to spend the munitions. It's not like he can save up for his Thunderbolt because he's 8 command points away. So I think going bars yeah. would definitely be a good choice right now. Yeah, that. So I know he moves his M15 a lot forward. I mean, he it's pretty nice because he's he's. Uh, I think I he, a, there's only one pack and only a handful of yeah, exactly. hanging so, around, so yeah. he doesn't need to be too worried. You do also have to be careful, with Telemine. Telemines will take out in one shot, but with such little munitions income and with how many of those um, munitions have been going towards rifle nades and Panzerfaust, not really an option. Generally, you have a pretty good indication of when your opponent would be floating enough munitions. This bunk is an odd choice, considering how much we're talking about the lack of munitions. Is he going to put a machine gun on that? Or? Yeah, it's nice to do, but with yeah, with no like medics in his base, I think that would definitely pay off a lot more in the the big scheme of things here. Mordo will get Vet 1 quite soon, but won't really have much of an influence, given that there's no pack houses to counter barrage. Lieutenant moving in will have some pretty good damage and the 50 cal, the no, MG42 actually in the, in the church will force away the other MG42 belonging to Moaning Mini. And a rifle nade goes in. Rifle, rifle grenade. grenade. Not quite hitting that far. Lieutenant actually. So M15 will start to fire pack though. Not sure if it's actually within range. It is within range but won't fire. No, it will fire. But the uh, the wreck will take that one. The M15 doing a really good job. It has to be careful. Even the small arms are actually doing some damage against it. All those troops were clustered there on that corner and took a bit of damage from that. But yeah, you're right. This pack has moved nicely. Ooh. And this is... Two shots in a row. Mortar will have to retreat left. Tenant's getting vetted up pretty fast. Will become very, very powerful. Tomato Ketchup still floating a lot of munitions. And I think this really is crippling his potential. This is quite a nice call on. I like this, Dougie. Uh -oh. I think if he attacks here, if he spots it, which he should, and attack the unit, he'll do most of it was a terrible shot. <laughs> oh, it's on the it's, it's on the head. If you don't, oh, oh, don't no. keep doing it. Don't keep doing it. Yeah, there we go. Don't worry, buddy. I believe in you, buddy. Oh, that didn't do very much. Yeah, these there's still three. The, oh, he's the, retreated. Oh dear. That's a really interesting call. I would have gotten in there and at least tried to drive away. You can probably circle strafe it. But it, what the auto cannon won't fire yeah. because it needs to be stopped. Maybe juke it out. Actually, I think he's going to leave it. He wants oh, to capture it. Oh dear, he's going to capture it. Uh oh. I think Imperial I think... Dane coined this term, but Grand Theft Panzer. <laughs> 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 oh, Imperial Dane, we love you. But still knitting some medics. Double MG onto Moaning Mini. So he won't have a lot of territory, but will have some really good defensive ability to hold his territory that he currently has. This MG42 really should go back to base. Church won't quite offer him enough protection. And is very close to losing that one, but VPs are very low here. Well, Tomato Ketchup only having 150 left. Moaning Mini, rather. A couple of idle riflemen now moving down from the north. They were sitting up there for a little while. I'm just just over here and maybe waiting for a flank, I suppose. Yeah, board. So, oh, suppressed. That's a bit sad, though. The MG42 will suppress those squads down, but gets a flank from the side. Another ball of the nade. Yeah, that MG will be another one in the hands of Tomato Ketchup. Still. Moving in here, we'll have some pretty nice damage though, especially up close. There's not really much that can stop this still. Yeah, no AT. Looking at Tomato Ketchup, does he have any AT guns? He can call one in from his power drop. Does he have his tier 4 though? I think he actually has his tier 4. Majors. Yeah, we're with Major. Yeah, so I think he's going to go straight for his Sherman. If not, maybe his Jackson. Just the Sherman would be fine against this doggy right now. A little yeah. bit more versatility. Oh, there's an AT gun actually being dropped in from the airborne company here, and these M19 paratroopers, yes. very powerful. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, especially through the neg cover. Stug either can do some pretty decisive damage. This is oh, quite a no. Oh, he's got to jump the 
No. He's captured ah, it, so ah, he can't vault ah, it. Oh, that's ah. terrible. Because he needs to crush it with his ambulance. Yeah, the ambulance has crushed Prince. The M1 gonna stop it. is the only AT, and he can't use it because it's bugged what? out. That's not tragic. A Why do you want to drop it there? Yeah, oh, I know. that little that's dance. Not a, that's not Make a, it stop. It's not, a, it's not a place you want to drop it. <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> Please, don't be scumbag. The wreck is buying some many, time. Don't, don't be scumbag. Be a nice guy. Ambulance a little bit out of position as well. I think it's because it, it sways. Like, he probably called it in the middle, but yeah. it isn't always 100% accurate, which is, again, the high risk, high reward factor of the drops without having the uh, pathfinders. Still, he's going to kill it. Yeah. yeah. It's so mean. About it. The Decrude. models are standing there in an awkward place. Where's he in 15? Still oh, there. Wow, well, he Still took there. his time capturing it, but there kept. it is. And Finally, that's gonna finds do some airborne damage. as well. Good yeah. time. Gonna be a good counter against the airborne. Everyone actually will do some pretty damage though if they're able to fire long enough. They won't be able to because of the suppression. Ambulances will make it caught by the Stilgi. I think it will indeed. So Stilgi does take one shot. Stuked around a hedge though and didn't actually force fire down the AT gun. Yeah, that's either. surprising. The M1A1's still alive. Is it the same denunciation? Is it still an M1A1, the call leader, or is it just an M1? M1. Yeah. It's never an M1A1. It never was an A1, was it? Yeah. I think it was the Garand, M1. It? it was, yeah. It yeah, was M1 the Garand, yeah. Garand. I'm just getting my abbreviations and No, it's such Carbine. Confused. M1A1 Carbine. Yeah. I think. So it's just the M1 AT gun. I think that's why. M1 AT gun is the word I was looking for. Anyway. We're going to get ripped apart by World War II. Yeah, I know, right? They're going <laughs> to kill us. I'm sorry, guys. Yeah. Other than that, though... Still, no medics here for Mooning Mini, and it is a bit of a problem looking at the squad that he has. Ambulance, I think, survived. Yeah, actually su survived, which is rather surprising. I, I suspect that uh, Mooning Mini must have used some of those uh, med packs because his Vet 3 squad's got quite a bit of health, so that's quite cool. You don't see many players opt, opt for that as the Vermeer rather than the Bunker. 500 munitions. This wow. Is, this is the only reason why Tomato Kitab is actually being pushed back because. There could be 20 bars on the field. Yeah, 20 bars. And with that many upgrades, he will just slaughter the unupgraded infantry. We'll oh. lose the M1 again. Oh, that's going to suck here for Emperor Ketchup. Not able to crew that one back. Nade going in as well. Will it be dodged though? Grenade not going to do full damage, but still pretty good nonetheless. That cannon actually getting pretty low here. We'll have to back away. 50 cal is in the garrison, but the Stuggy should be able to clear him out. Especially... That's the MG42. Oh, yeah, of course it is. MG42. Everyone's having the worst time, and this, this Stuggy is having yeah, getting Sherman. a less good time. Sherman goes for the Circle Strike right now. The pack's setting up, though. Yeah, he doesn't need the Circle Strike, though. The Stug E is so poor against vehicles. Really but doesn't... what could have happened there is the Stug E does have the target weak point. If he'd yeah. gotten real tricky, he could have set that up, stopped the Sherman, and kept the pack firing. Yeah, that would have been nice. M15 will contribute a little bit to the Sherman with its auto cannon, but yeah, its main gun won't be. Um... What's firing that? Oh, it's the Sherman. Sherman. Yeah, I'm not really sure what he's using it for. May yeah, actually go pack. deep. It was for the pack, I think. He wants to go in after the, the Stug. Oh, and it may pack pay off. In. Where are the Grenadiers for their Panzer Pulse here? Stug, again, won't penetrate unless it uses that main gun here. The pack, though, is firing, though. Will he land the stun? That could be deadly if the Grens move in. Now, for the foul, Stug, he will fall to one more shot from the Sherman. Rear armor as well. Dangerous territory oh, for the Sherman, though. There's is... going to be another pack. Yeah, yeah, the Stug has worn off. The smoke has worn off. Going behind the garrison. Couldn't quite Bang get the gun. killing blow on this Stug E. Pack is refacing and can get wiped pretty quickly. Actually, only two crew members left. Meanwhile, paratroopers are moving in, and if he just Sherman's buys gonna time... Sherman's going to run into it. He's going to move into the arc for sure. Oh, maybe he's going to camp there. Yeah, Don't it... move, oh, Sherman. Yeah. Oh, Sherman. It's all over. He's going to get destroyed. He should yeah. have waited for the paratroopers to wipe down the pack. It wouldn't have taken long. Couldn't quite crush them out of control. So throwing away the Sherman, a very questionable play there, especially as he... He waited until the smoke worn off, and then he went in. He didn't really go in during the smoke. It was a good idea. The smoke idea, you could see what he was trying to pull off, but just waited a fraction too long for all of the, the smoke rounds to land, and they were starting to dissipate when he moved in. Yeah, and it was quite fortunate that there were no grenadiers for the false, because... Oh, finally, a medic bunker is being built by the bear. <laughs> Thank God. Yeah, that's nice to see. That grin, pretty desperate. Yeah, <laughs> they wanted it. They got it's definitely it. that squad. I bet. I bet they just just took over AI controls and we need a med bunker. Yeah, a dire situation for our grenadiers. We'll get healed up pretty soon. Hopefully, he can afford it. And he can't afford the meds. Oh dear. Uh, well, uh, well. Need to be careful with the paratroopers. Yeah, look, the damage here from oh, the 15 may even wipe it. 
Drops an M19 on the ground. If he get that one captured. Hey, hey, he's got the M157 yes. mil AT gun. And they're not even drinking out the fence this time. <laughs> the fence has been destroyed. <laughs> M1 will fire. Troops. But it will take two shots to actually yeah. take it out. So it should be fine to back that away. Mortar will start to fire against the garrison and the M1. Not a good position having those units that close. Definitely not indeed. So yeah, the ambulance is there as well. Mortar is in a pretty fun time position right now. Has hit veterancy 2 as well lots of power there but a lot of still a lot of squads on the field here for um now i've forgotten his name moaning mini isn't it yeah, of course moaning, yeah, moaning mini, mini yes. yeah he definitely has some nice unit preservation he's got all those grenades on the field i don't think he's been losing his mg42s i think it would be nice to see the panzer grenadiers now i mean he's getting a grenadier squad he's got definitely enough manpower for it and and you know he's already got the three greens i think the panzer grenadiers could really contribute yeah especially with just the lack of upgrades again floating 500 munitions Tiger is very close with Mooning Mini. He can pretty much afford it once he gets just a little bit more feel. But with enough munitions for two Thunderbolts, yeah. it's going to have a pretty good time against the Tiger. But with only the M1, not really a lot of AT. Jackson may be a possibility as it's well. It's on the way, the Jackson. Yeah, there we yeah go. that's nice. So I think the Tiger actually won't be that effective. M1 is firing onto the Stug E. doesn't penetrate, surprisingly. And Stug E actually doing some good damage against the M1. Yeah, those skirts, maybe they've helped, I don't know, if it, it adjust the frontal armor at all, but... I don't know, look at the, um, the health on the M1 gun. Wow, yeah, the area damage, even the mortar could finish, like, destroy it that squad. Probably will as well, if not one more shot from one of the tanks. Rifleman squad getting very low, the smoke may have actually saved that one from the, uh... Oh. Abandoned again. Wow. The most unloved M15 in, in all the world. Yeah, he forced fires it. No destroyed engine! A critical oh, on an God. abandoned vehicle. He will not yeah. die, yeah, he refuses, go. but finally goes down. That's quite unfortunate. And the Thunderbolt have been unlocked. He has indeed, and a lot of munitions in the bank here for him for a tomato ketchup. He's gonna have a fun time if any tanks do decide to come into the field. I wouldn't really want to be a Red tank. It is. Oh! And I think with the pack. I think oh, that no, was a stub. Oh, it is must be It nice looks shot. like a pack's firing, and it's just like, what? Since when do packs kill infantry? But no, the stug. Some very he's, decent damage. He's got there. his money's worth from that still. I bet there's Has. 12 kills on that. Yeah. Oh, that's only one M19 as well. We saw how much damage that is. Dropped. That's one M19. The other one went over to this rifleman squad over here. So the damage is just insane from the paratroopers with those upgrades. Jackson has hit the field. We'll be able to take down the Stug very, very quickly. But we'll have to be careful of the pack. Stug is extremely low. Should be seeing that tiger any minute now, right? Yeah, I reckon though. A little bit below oh, on the fuel. Like he's, he's oh he's called on the half track with the Panzer Grenadiers. Interesting. Yeah, it's going to be really great against the M1 as well as the infantry, and particularly the M19s on the airport, not having any grenades. That's their smoke this as well. Light up oh, wow! That's insane. The, the the lack of delay is so powerful. Wiped the M1, but not a surprise again, given how low it actually was. Um, Jackson. It was the first shot as well. That yeah. was really that, the first kind of start of the barrage got it. Sometimes you can get lucky and the first shots actually start to miss. Like, I remember with my Zis, I used to, you really had to duke it out. You saw the smoke, you're like, run! Yeah. It's a light artillery barrage or Zis killer. Light artillery barrage, but not exactly light by any stretch of the imagination. And this situation as well is going to be pretty good here. We'll be able to deal with the lieutenant in the garrison. Definitely a lot of potential for the unit because there's generally just less uh, AT grenades. You know, if you are going the airborne company. Yeah. Um, Mortar actually doing some friendly fire though. Jackson looking for the kill, but behind the church won't be able to find it. Looking for it. some trouble here. Uh, the lucky Mortar round to finish the run. Off. Get out of there. Yeah. Even the P runs. Wow. He must have forgotten oh, it. Yeah. Just let it die. Because he couldn't really chase it because of the Jackson. And down here we have the Stug E again. Jackson moving in though, and we'll take it down. Whoa, thrashed it. Yeah. 60% to it. One more shot, we'll take out. Victory as well. Would be a shame to lose it, just for the sake of having the stun. Could be really powerful having the stun with the Tiger. Jackson though, moving in, and, and we'll find it. Gonna fire at the oh, pit. Shot of at course the... he fires oh, at the, the no. pioneers. pioneers again. Rear armor hit there for the Stug E, but just oh, chuck it to Wow, the, the stun! If he kills wow. this one, I swear to god, if he kills the Jackson, one v one to cry. One v one. Jackson though, we'll get a killing blow. <laughs> if that was a regular Stug, would have killed that one no problem. Yeah. But the Stug E not having very good damage. If these Pegrins actually get the Shreks, they're gonna be very good Jackson hunters as well. Well he's gotta be cautious with this Jackson now. Uh, this Faust is probably gonna be landing in a moment. Did he catch no. it? No. I didn't catch it, though. No. Must have missed okay, well, it. I was going to say, now that that's like limping around a little bit, he's got a bit more free reign with the, the 250 half-track with the Panzer Grenadiers in it, and he could go find weapons teams, 
the major, you know, maybe even go right up to the ambulance and shred it. Yeah. So it's going to be very powerful. I think the main thing, it's actually a really clever counter to the paratroopers that you just haven't really seen before. Yeah, true. Because those paratroopers are just so powerful, you can't deal with them with grenadiers or pigrons. But pigrons in a half yeah, track, that'll, hey, that'll work. work. Yeah. In this situation, though, the AT grenade will work, but we won't get there in time. He needs to keep moving. Yeah. Because the guys, it, it acts as if they're stationary when they're in that vehicle. Yeah, if, if he was chasing it, he may have actually killed that one. And now he's just offering a, a free half track to be claimed by the Jackson. That's another Jackson moving into so two of them. Wow. Definitely anticipating that Tiger, and I can't blame him. Wipes the uh, MG in the garrison though, with a rifle grenade. Getting a little bit careless with his units here. Yeah. Just another catch up. And all the world of rocket strikes and two Jacksons. 600 the Tiger's going to have a bad time. How much is the, the, the rockets? 240. Are they 240? Yeah, I thought so. And it'll yeah. take it to about one third of its HP if yeah, it all lands. If it lands. If you just reverse, they often won't hit. But with the Jacksons firing, he can make some interesting plays happen. I think the problem here for Moaning Mini, uh, for um, Tomato Ketchup, he just keeps losing his squads. Mm. If he replenishes it with Airborne, he might be fine, especially as his vet 2 already. But with just. Is this the. What was that smoke just dropped here? It wasn't a Thunderbolt, probably was a light arty barrage. I think. Maybe it's fake smoke from the Major. Major. Major nope, fake smoke. That's no, real that's artillery real. rounds. <laughs> I still don't know what it is. Was that the, the Major, major Arty? Yeah. Oh, no one likes the yeah, Major Arty. The delay is huge. Oh, the huge. thing he says is a cracker. And yeah. it fired like... Six bars and steals that stuff for you. It's, it what? Fired four shots. It's not very powerful. <laughs> really not sure why he did it, but hey, at least Tomato Ketchup is finally <laughs> saving his, his munitions. <laughs> not exactly in the ideal way, but still better than having 600 of the rifle nade may do nothing at all. Wow. <laughs> when you mentioned nice before save. The, uh, the P-51 rocket straight. Yep. You said it does up to two thirds of the target. Well, can do. On a single pass? Not on a single pass. No, a okay. Single pass. No. All right. I didn't think so. No, I was just going to make sure. That's it, if it's right. stationary, it takes a lot more than if it's moving because it won't hit half the time. I see. So you sort of have to use it in synergy with certain things. The tiger is here. Yeah. There we go. But again, I'm a bit skeptical for this tiger. I don't think Mooning Mini's tiger is going to be very successful. Yeah. I just don't know if there was another really good option, though. I mean, yeah, just, exactly. Just tanks in general aren't a good idea, but I mean, it's worth it when you have that much fuel. You might as well try the tiger. Well, maybe he should try... Um, who was the, the other German that we just passed? Cookie Monster. Cookie Monster. I think more pens are going to be a good option. <laughs> I think we have to call it the Cookie Monster. Triple P Grand Spam, because yeah. no upgrades on the Riflemen. With only Jacksons, he can deal with them with Shreks. I think Pigrens would actually be a pretty good choice. Absolutely. Yeah. But um, again, the Tiger... The it, call of the Tiger is just too hard to resist, though. Yeah, it, it's just so brainless. It's just easy mode. Default Tiger win games. But let's see how effective it will be against two Jacksons. Not exactly the ideal map for Jacksons either. With that many shot blockers and hedges, you can get caught and, and not have very good chasing potential. So it isn't ideal for the Jackson, nor is it for the SU-85. They're not the best map for Tiger. Though, I mean, it can definitely still be taken out. I mean, the Jacksons are going to have some pretty nice penetration against the Tiger as well. And they're super mobile. So are we going to see the strafe now away. that Oh, I think Tiger. we are seeing the strafe. Not a red not smoke, yet. though. See, no? I'm not sure what that one's coming from. Definitely isn't major Thunderbolt. Major Arty, Major Arty. Yeah, but the Jacksons are moving in now, and we'll start to fire Thunderbolt. Nice pack position. Is it coming in? It needs to go in now. Here yeah, it is. It is. It's being caught in, but the pack being exactly where it needs to be and warding off the Jackson. Oh, Even Jackson kills one down. of them as well. Vet 3, and the Major Arty just isn't dependable. Doing some pretty great damage. Forcing, 50%. Yeah, forcing about. the Tiger low. If the Jacksons were on the chase, they may have killed it. I think that pack has saved the day. Thunderbolt will return. Not sure if it'll be able to deal with a tiger, though. Just got a of an this is What's going on? Yeah, I can hear oh, yeah, riflemen down, down by the pioneers. Wow. By the look of it, as they're laying S mines. That's probably why. Yeah. Thunderbolt's coming around again. Three squads here for Tomato Ketchup. Yeah, did a bit more damage to it as well. So the Jackson. I think the Jackson might have shot it. Done. Did he lose? No. The Jackson no. almost got wiped there, indeed. So. Again, I don't think it really matters at this stage, especially with only 33 VPs. Really not much left for Mooning Mini. Surprisingly, he's gone through so much of his initial oh. to call it again. Oh. Yeah, see, you have to keep the, t the Tiger moving, otherwise those Thunderbolts will hit and take out your Tiger. So... Do you know if smoke does anything? If you pop smoke... Or oh, Nade may wipe it! Yeah. Gets the wipe, retreated through it, the smoke. Um, I don't think so. I haven't actually tried, though. I don't think there is smoke, though, on the mechanized support. No, there's not, but I was just wondering maybe if you pop, you know, Panzer yeah, Tactician. I hope not. Can't be more OP than what it already is. <laughs> 
instantly negating button for you know, less cost than button. And, and two games that we've seen that are very, very similar. It's just lack of upgrades. Yeah. Is It just really shows the cost against... When you're playing against Vermark, you need those upgrades on your rifle when you want to be winning the engagements. You can't just rely on, on floating munitions. Yeah, and, or just oh, more the yeah. fire from the Paris here. Yeah, do oh, the grenade was very good from uh, yeah, the grenade, yeah. Yeah, like sometimes you, you just don't go that many upgrades if you go like two or three airborne because that's where your munitions yeah. get synced into. Another Jackson as well being called in. I don't really know if, if it's worth it. Not that'll work. He needs some way to deal with this many vetted infantry. And nice, only... nice use of smoke. He's trying to get the cap under the smoke, but it won't last long enough. I think. Yeah, actually, may win on the VPs. That's yeah. That's that's what what down. Yeah, he could do. In fact, he's got two of them, so it's. Oh, he killed the, killed the gunner as well. Yeah, the M19 in the Seraph one's very powerful. Gets in the garrison, garrison as well. That's oh, a really wow. nice spot to be at. Down the bottom here, Grenadiers will cap the point, and the Tiger hasn't been repaired. The Jackson can kill that in two shots. If Tomato Ketchup plays it well, Pani is going for the repairs now. This is a pretty good angle, especially with two Jacksons moving in. And it's surprising, like, where are the infantry for Mooning Mini? He does have a fair bit. He lost a couple of yeah, squads. I did. All over the place. Where are they chilling at? They're just all well, over There's only three yeah. grands, and actually, They're waiting there for some two reason. pyres and support weapons. So, yeah, it's not as much as you. As the, the bar up the top would would suggest there are. Yeah. Jackson's covering the, the middle VP though, and they are still ticking 12 VPs left. I mean, this is kind of huge. What the Jackson should do is, is hold the top VP and just push infantry. Because he can delay the capping by pushing it. And he may even win the game because there's nothing up there. He needs something up there. Grenadiers are moving in though. They may get it in time. Church won't get destroyed just yet. Mortar though may wipe Six. it with a vet 3 for the extra range. Five. It's going to be a close one though. S mines well, won't He's just going to get it. I think he will get it. I don't know. Now he'll yeah. get it. Just Four VPs left. Jeez. It'll be on one. Wow. It'll be on three. It's going to be on two, isn't it? Two. Oh, wow. Wow. The Jackson, Funny if he was pushing, he would have won it. He would have delayed the Grenadiers long enough to prevent the decap. Jackson now has a damaged engine. Tiger is being repaired by two pioneers, so losing a pretty good window. Still, do we have enough for another Thunderbolt? No, not just yet. Not quite. But these Vet 3 M19s are going to just rip through the Grenadiers, no problems at all. Vet 3, yeah, crazy. Well, there's just one on this squad, but we already saw what they could do in these paras. Yeah. They're going to be insane. And even just the uh, the carbines on, on the uh, paratroopers do pretty good damage without the upgrades, which is surprising because you look at the carbines on the rehearsal and they're pretty bad. Nice MG will hold down the middle VP, and this game could go either way. It's definitely looking pretty good for Mooning Mini. But with only two VPs, he has to be careful. Tiger, yeah, moving in. Two Jacksons, though, are on the field. If he lands a smoke and a T grenade, this could be the end of our Tiger. Where is the pack over here? Not exactly the best angle by any means. A T grenade. I don't think it actually uh, I went fired. But... Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, yep. Yeah, again, the A T grenades for Americans have very good penetration to compensate for their lack of tracking. Did actually follow that far, though. If the Tiger was reverse moving quicker, probably wouldn't have tracked it. Going for the VP once again. MG is still there, but getting very, very low. Going for the power troopers as well. The rifle can wipe it. He stepped into the circle to prevent the capture. Mortar is firing. Grenade going down as well. Grenadiers will have to retreat from that one. The, that's a bar on the rifleman. Oh, wow, it is. It, it is. is. Upgrades, upgrades, finally. The yep. upgrades exist. And wipes the Grenadiers. That church that, is such low health. The Jackson will get it, the I reckon. Jackson the Jackson's going to wipe it down. And that will be all of the infantry gone. The only pioneers left. Jackson's though not able to fire around the corner and the paratroopers survive. Wiping the paratroopers would be an incredibly huge blow. Pack is still there and actually the garrison holds on, loses that Vet 3 Rifleman squad. Unnecessary loss there. Yeah, definitely. And Jackson's not going to be able to fire through the ruined building. This is a really good spot for the Tiger. Definitely is because the Jacksons, they just can't chase through that effectively. They won't be able to, to get a flank or get the proper 2v1. And oh, this game is so close. Mighty oh, Metal. Edge. Just knife edge and a half. There's just no infantry left here for for Ooh, that's Emperor a catch up. That's a really good yeah, telemine. That's, that's such a telemine. Right. That might claim a Jackson. And I think it'll actually kill it on full HP. The Jackson's not very strong by any means. Paratroopers are moving in though. 
able to fire while on the move with the M19, but with that low, the Grens on the Vet 3 as well should be able to take care of the paratroopers. Yeah, M19, they need to leave. You don't want to lose that unit. No, M19 not too effective against the heavy cover. Jacksons are moving in, but no anti-infantry firepower. I think he's got a cap using the vehicle crews. He's oh, just but... dropped a cheeky paratrooper squad down south to get a, a cap, but that is oh, a big S minefield. Yeah, that's really clever as well. He may win the game if he gets the neutralize. He can use the Where's vehicle, the vehicle crews? crews. The Jacksons can yeah. cap the point as well. Tiger though, need. forcing him out of the point. A really good play here by Mooning Mini and hasn't got that point captured. Meanwhile, the middle one's been captured back by Mooning Mini, losing the opportunity here. Only two VPs left. He would have to have it for not long at all. The Jacksons actually had completely free reign to get that one. Yeah, they definitely could have. I don't know why they went back to the middle, to be honest. I think if the airborne got the decap and then the top point was capped... Yeah, I think well, it would have been yeah. enough with just that one been VP enough in with, the two, with one VP yeah. left. Yeah. Even if they were both neutralized yeah. and the middle was still held it you wouldn't got, like, take long three or four seconds probably yeah look i think there isn't much time left here the airborne just a little bit too late won't have any veterancy nor will they have any upgrades and he's going for a sherman now need more infantry yeah, need, need another airborne so squad just just up the yeah, top anywhere pack, at all ready to party oh wow i'll take it is it available on our grenadiers Absolutely. oh pack yeah, gets the killing blow. I think having extra rate of fire at vet something. Yeah, vet two extra rate of fire. So he was able to chase it down quicker. And now with one tiger and only one Jackson, should be able to one v one that one with the tiger. No problems Especially at with all. Especially the damaged engine on the Jackson. Yeah, it wouldn't take long to kill it. MG on the ground here for Mooning Mini will suppress the Vet 3 paratroopers. A very decisive victory. Tiger as well will do some pretty good damage and are forcing the paratroopers back. And the MG 42 is now Vet 2, so the suppression has gone to way up. And the damage. Oh, uh, no. There's Jackson oh, here. Jackson, no. Not where he wants to be. Getting taken very low. One more shot. Isn't he taken out? Calling in probably an AT gun, but the Tiger will be incredibly Sherman. effective as well. Sherman's going to be a little bit too late. Even if it does hit the field now, won't be too effective here. Tiger actually backing it's not away. Penetrating. It's just missing and not penetrating. He backed the Jackson's away. Doing so well. He could have killed the Jackson yeah. easily. Didn't actually hit. Moving again backwards will give it less accuracy. Pack will wipe the Ambo a good blow at this stage. Pack gotta be careful. Takes the consolation prize, but he may be at the cost of his life. Don't lose that veteran Z3. Sneaks oh, wow. out of there. Just alive. Uh, it's good to see the 250 after back rolling around again. Was it the same one? Yeah, I saw it back at his base. Oh, wow. He drove it all the way back with the damaged engine. Got it repaired and back in action. I would love to see Shrek's in there. That would be awesome. That would be absolutely brilliant. Armor here. Oh, uh, wow. Well, I, I don't even know anymore. I mean, I think he could have won the game if the, ja if the Jackson's vehicle crew just came out yeah. of the VP. Even, even, uh, <laughs> even then, yeah. I, I think all it would take is Sherman at the top, Jackson at the bottom, evac, vehicle crew, capture, win. Yeah. Like, it, it wouldn't take long. You could long. just use the Jackson's to shop block so the crews would survive. That's yeah. pretty sure you could do at this do. point. Because it is it is a bit of a blow moaning mini not having anything on these points. He has the S mines though. That's yeah. definitely going to buy him some time. He, he's got a... I don't know if he knows. Emperor... Someone should tell the Emperor that he's vehicle cruising cap points. Yeah. Well, but, you know in these big yeah. ga well, these games and you, you fought so well and you're doing so well and then it comes right down to the clutch moment at the end and you know... You're thinking about a lot of different things and it's easy to miss something like yeah, that. Yeah, but... indeed. Yeah. But even then, I think the main thing, realistically, for Tomato Ketchup, he just lost too many squads. Yeah. He lost about two or three vetted rifleman squads in a very quick succession. What? Look, there's a Sherman at the top. Oh, D I believe, Emperor. Have you heard me through, he's through time and himself. space? There it is. Yes. Through time and space, but, he has heard but me. But only with one of them. Yeah. yeah. So he can't win unless he goes to the middle, but he can't go because of the MG. Well, the airborne, not for the sneakies. Yeah, airborne don't have smoke, so they can't go for the middle. And point there's so much infantry down the bottom. Without their riflemen. Going for it now. Tiger is moving up. I think he's trying to bait all the infantry at the top and maybe do a call in. Yeah. Like at the bottom, like another airborne That's squad. That's going to be a good play here, especially with the Vet 3 M19 airborne. Jackson and the M1 can probably deal with the Tiger on its own. I was just thinking the Pathfinders wouldn't be a bad bad choice at the moment. If you set up one of those radio masts or whatever it's called. You can see units, yeah. Yeah, yeah and you can, can so reinforce. You can not just do that, but you can drop a new para squad like in a circle, yeah. very tight circle and, you know, get right on that point. Yeah, the Vet 3 and the M19 just making the airborne too powerful. The oh. LMG actually wiping it and the Ralph Nade as well. That's, That's going to be enough. Crucial. And loses the, the Vet 3 squad. Sherman and Jackson are ready to fire the pack though. Exactly where it wants to be. Sherman can take out that pack though, even with 
the AP shells if it actually lands. One more VP cap. If a VP gets capped at this point, it's going to be game. Yeah, but We're, with S mines. Uh, and a bunker. The world of S mines yeah, and the clever. bunker. That's a very the, good move. I've just got to ch chip in here. The, the pack placement by Moaning Mini throughout this game yeah. has been superb. Yeah, it has definitely. Got, can you just highlight? I want to see how many tanks he's got. Three. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but I, I think he's been recruited yeah. a few times. But anyway, it's been excellent. Especially against these Jacksons. And it hasn't always killed the Jacksons, but it's always been forcing them off. Yeah. Mm. In times when it's kept his Tiger alive, for example. Sherman, got to be careful of the Tiger. So, yeah, I, I think going at, at both at the top rather than half-half may have been the end. Because Here tomorrow... the strafe, the rocket strafe, I believe. Oh, is it? No, that's just an airborne, oh, airborne drop. drop. Okay. But actually, nice flank. We'll decrew the MG. And another paratrooper squad, but unfortunately the top one is being captured. We'll lose the MG, definitely. Where is infantry Slight in the middle? Time. Just heard a tank go down. I think the Jackson's been destroyed. Ah, uh, the Jackson has been destroyed indeed. The Tiger will have free reign again. Vet 3 Grenadiers doing pretty good damage. Church has been destroyed. Paratroopers gonna need the upgrade. Telemine there as well. Bottom one actually still there. So the Jackson's... Oh yeah, it actually, if you actually cap the bottom, you may get hit by the Telemines, but um... Yeah, the Tiger's gonna have no problems at all here with, with no Jackson, and we'll get the middle VP probably, but it won't really matter. Yeah, the top's not captured. No, but the vehicle oh. crew! The vehicle crew! This could be it here. Infantry not Hit able on. to move Hit in. Point. Is he gonna evacuate? Again, nothing on the bottom here. Has to react Time now. Time is of the essence right now. Pioneers Please, are evac. moving down. Evac! Tomato ketchup. Did you have this game? If you evac the squad, Pioneers will get the capture. He's done it. Enough? He's done oh, it. But it's too late. Yeah, and they're already. trading. Oh, no idea. And the bunker is going to be finished. Yeah, he, he might have had that one. If the paratroopers stayed on the point, they would have died. But they probably would have bought enough time. Yeah, I think once again, could have won the game if he, if he was a little bit more fast. Yeah, he just... Now that Grenadiers Steal the Sherman. Oh, I was going to say <laughs> that, but yeah, I was going to I was going to the S cool ones, though. That's nice on the Grenadiers. Yeah. Actually, he oh, may well. neutralize this he, one he as well. Neutralize. There's a smoke grenade here. Yeah, the bunkers can't actually <laughs> pin. Nice. The, the bunkers don't pin as well as regular MGs. Mm. And force off the Grenadiers. Actually, oh, wow. it's not over just yet. It's not over. In the middle as well, P Grenadiers should hold the line. Unless we crazy. see a nice nade. Top's being capped now. Oh, He's not no! in the circle. Oh, wait. He's Tomato ketchup, what are you doing? Get the point now. The tiger uh, is tiger. moving in. Oh no, tomato ketchup, please. please. He gets I the think... bottom, but he doesn't get the top. The vehicle crew. The pack is Two moving. men. He's not on the point. You know, he lost it. The he pack is, it. The yeah. packers will can cap the point if he so desires, but still, this could be game. If the tiger can't wipe it. Is the smoke covering the tiger wipe it? Can he wipe uh, it? Well, I don't know. He can circle straight for the MG. The MG. He's going to get the wipe. It's going to be a close one here. Don't decide he's still on alive! He needs to circle straight for it. He needs to circle straight for it. There's no top MG. He's the alive. only MG is on oh. the oh. He didn't circle straight for it. There was no top MG. It was on the turret. Oh, no. So, so what you're saying is he should have been dancing around the Tiger because yeah. there's no fiddle now to machine gun yeah. chase. The yeah. MG was on the turret. The MG yeah. wasn't on the top. Oh, I gotta say, Emperor Tomato Ketchup has had plenty of chances. He could have won I mean, they're game. real clutch opportunities, but he, he's probably had two or three where he could have grabbed that. Uh, now the bottom's captured back. That would have been a nice play by yeah, Tomato Ketchup. That's game. Yeah. That's a nail biter. Unless he gets this one back here. He actually may do. If the Tiger doesn't wipe, no, even the Pigrens are moving in as yeah, well. He doesn't yeah. have any army. That's game. Uh, oh no! Tomato Ketchup. That was so close! Yeah, I think it's gonna be game. That's gonna be game. Damn. Exciting finish though. That was exciting. Really. That was brilliant. It was actually uh, nice, like, nice flanks and diversions. Yeah. Yeah. Tomato ketchup probably could have won the game. Um, yeah. I, I think as well, like, M1s are pretty good against the Tigers if you get the AP ammo because the Tigers having the health nerf, they'd actually die a lot faster. The M1s, their problem is generally the penetration, but their damage is pretty good for the rate of fire. Yeah, I think uh, if we remember back to that first M1 dropping and the dancing crew yeah, on that fence, yeah. that really, that he's had a point. few tough breaks in this game. And uh, it still performed well, and then just, just what he needed to just finish, get it yeah. over the line, didn't quite cross. Also, him. floating 600 munitions is never yeah. a thing that you should do ever. Um, I, I think just more bars. He would have just had complete infantry dominance. Because there was quite a while. Remember how munitions strapped 
Moaning Mini was. He That's didn't right. have any LMGs. Eventually, Moaning Mini got LMGs, and then he was kind of fine. But there was definitely a pretty huge window where the, the LMGs just weren't there. And then you just can't deal with upgraded riflemen without your own LMGs. Or rifle nades. Exciting match, and I just want to go back very quickly to when the 250 half track with the Panzergrenz came on. They didn't really bust open the scene and do a whole lot of damage, but that was quite a cool play and something unusual you don't see a lot of players do, particularly when he had the opportunity at that point to get the Tiger. I think I'll actually keep that in mind for airborne players, hmm. because really, airborne's hard to deal with, and that's just the perfect counter. Yeah. Anyway, any last words? That's pretty much it. Awesome game. Yeah. Very that, fun. that was an nail-biter. Well played, Moaning Mini. Yeah. Thanks. Right. Thanks, guys. Well, we'll wrap this one up. See you next time. See Bye. ya.